Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here, and it's also fantastic to have Evan and Caitlin here. We have one more day. That day is slowly becoming shorter and shorter Quickly. as we wrap up some of the other stuff that we had to wrap up. And now, we need to make something on our bonus day. What about smart? I think we should make smart. And you guys have made some pretty cool deer heads in the past. What if, oh, what if we made a deer head? out of steel. Oh, let's do it. We have to. First thing we need to do, guys, is we need to come up with a good design for the deer head sculpture. Such a fancy pen. Very fancy pen <laughs> for a very fancy project. <laughs> what do you reckon? So I think for time's sake and in terms of the design, as few lines as possible that makes sense. good. So how can we simplify this down? And in terms of scale, what do you think? Uh -huh. Life size? Life size? Sounds good, okay. we'll do life size. We could maybe do this out of 5 16 rod. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the material. Okie dokie, so up here, this is where all my round stock is. Should we just pull it all down? Yep. Right there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four pieces of quarter inch, each about 10 feet long. We've got some eight mil and we've got some 10 mil. Okay, now we need to work out how it is that we're gonna assemble parts. I think it's gonna be super simple. I think we can do it with the MIG. Let's see how my settings are. I think that should be about all right. So let's now just have a little test assemble of two pieces. I think it should be as simple as just putting them there. Then I walked it back and forth a little for attack and see what happens if I need to t go all the way around it. I'll probably do this. I'm gonna make it a little hotter. I think that's about bang on. Okay, so we know how we're gonna cut it. We know how we're gonna weld it. Now what? Start putting together pieces. Let's do it. We've got the snout. Right, what's next? So we need two 13s, and two, two nines. nines. Woo! You're getting good at that. Much better than the first one. Three for three. Angle looks good. Yeah. Woo! Maybe that's looking a little more symmetrical. Yeah, I mean, and the good thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect, and we can just say it's artistic. That no, that, no, we did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Straight across, here to here? I think straight across, so what is that? 13? Should we do two pieces yeah. at 13 and a half? Yeah, maybe 13 and a half. Great. <laughs> Starting to look like a deer's head, look at that! Yeah, that was awesome! Woo! Okay, so we've got the front side set up. How do we build off from here? What are we doing? Are we coming straight back a little bit? We can have an angle, so maybe it comes, maybe it's not a ball, but maybe it comes like this. I'm thinking if we're coming off here a little bit and we're tapering down, those pieces are doing something like this. I think we could connect the neck here and there, here and there. Yeah, I think we can do that. Four 10 centimeter pieces. Four 10 centimeter pieces? Yeah. Let's make that happen. Don't even need to write that down. Oh yeah! Look how cool that looks! Yeah. Next up, we need to know how we angle and stand it off the wall. How far off does that need to be for us to still have a good enough amount of antlers coming off? Oh, I wonder if we can put like a, a fake wall here. Okay, here's a wall. Okay. Yeah, right there. That looks good. What am I at? 22 I there? Three. So what are we saying? Something like... It might need to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. 25, 25, 2, 8, 8, 8 and a half. <laughs> Take two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looks great. That looks awesome. Oh, my goodness, this looks cool. That's awesome. So cool. Every time we add a new section, I'm like, ah. You know, guys, I think that before we move on much more, I think we need to button up the welds and all of these. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's kind of like tacked together. How's this for a plan? I button up these welds, you guys plan out the horns, mm -hmm. yes. and sketch that out and start getting some measurements for us to make those foundations. Okay, I got this bad boy buttoned up. How is the horn ideas, horn, antler yeah. ideas coming along? 
We have a one to five scale ratio drawing. So I think we can just measure this and scale it onto here. So we could use something like this. Something I prepared earlier. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, this is 22.5, which is five times what they drew here. And I guess we work out where we tie it all in. I think that's it. I think so. Maybe it needs to go down slightly. Yeah. We gotta break it. <laughs> you know what, let's just have a look at it like that. It'll hold. That seems better. And then we can just boot that guy in. Right, on to the next one. Alrighty, we've got our ears on. We got our first set of the antlers. It's now time to keep building it up from here on out. doing is we're working out how long we want the final points on this little ten pointer. What's that? Two and a half, three inches? Like yeah. Seven centimeters a piece? Yep. Okay. What are we gonna do off the other side? I think let's for this way come up something like that. Okay. What is that length? 75. Yeah. So we need four pieces seven centimeters long, mm -hmm. four pieces 75 millimeters long. That is exactly, exactly yes. what we're looking for. Yeah. Wait, there are still some details. I can hit these details. Yeah. And what do you guys think we should do patina? Industrial? Oh. Industrial rustic? I, I've never tried intentionally rusting it, but we've got some ferric. Mm -hmm. So I am tempted by the idea of trying to spray it down with ferric chloride. And maybe it's gonna get like a little bit of a, like a brownish tint. That'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Let's let, let me button up these welds. Yep. And then let's do that. All right, perfect. Woo! Another fun day has been here in the workshop. A little one day build, making ourselves a 10 pointer. If you don't know who these guys are, Evan and Caitlin, tell them a little bit about your channel and what you do. We make all sorts of stuff together from woodworking to see through cannon. So it's a lot of fun. Definitely come check us out. There's a link in the description below. These guys rock. They run an awesome YouTube channel. I'd love for you guys to check them out. If you're new here, subscribe here because I'm very much looking forward to seeing you tomorrow on my next episode. Thank you, Evan and Caitlin for coming. Incredible collab. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. It's been a ton of fun. See you guys tomorrow.